Some people who apparently have a very strong owie threshold toss around the saying, no pain, no gain. I have my own saying on that topic. No pain, no pain. But now an invention has been hatched to dull pain with a patch. Here's Allie Ward to explain. No pain, no pain. We can patch torn fabric. We can even patch cuts and scrapes. This is the Kylo Pain Patch, and it's designed to alleviate some forms of physical pain. This particular use of the technology was discovered by accident. The inventors, shown here, had set out to develop a communications device, not a pain patch. This patented technology was invented by Anthony Satera and Rhett Spencer. And now, Stuart Fetzer is leading the charge to help more people find relief through the use of this shiny patch. I traveled to Sandy, Utah to learn more. I would love to hear a little bit about the backstory of this. Is it true somehow it's related to an antenna? Yes. Initially, it was invented with the express purpose to make it aerosolized so that you could put an antenna in a can and spray it on a wall or a tree and hook leads to it and then communicate with it. So the inventors successfully created that aerosolized antenna. And after doing so, one of them was riding his motorcycle, got in an accident and broke six of his ribs. Stewart told me the man was in bed recovering when he decided to continue his work on the antenna. He set the antenna that he was working on down on his chest, reached over on the table next to his bed, and noticed that all the pain had gone away. And he picked up the antenna, he's like, what just happened? Wow. Now, can you tell me a little bit about the science of how that works? And it's all theory right now, how it works as a pain relief device. But we believe that as the pain signal travels along the axons of the nervous system, this patch actually notices it. And we believe that it either absorbs quite a bit of the signal, essentially cleaning it up, and or transmitting the signal along the nervous system pathway. What type of materials are used in this patch? So there are conductors and there are semiconductors, very common materials like copper and silver and silicon and nickel all participate in the patch. As far as placement, Stewart says the patch should go between the pain and the brain. We believe that they have to find the right location on the nervous system pathway to absorb the signals um, that are contributing to the pain. And can I see one? Yeah. You happen to have I one? I do, I have ah, one. You have a hookup. <laughs> Let's see. So oh, that's the patch it's itself. so thin. Stewart says the patch lasts as long as you care for it, and that changeable adhesive can last anywhere from a few days to more than a week. Easy on and easy off, with a reminder that proper placement is paramount. That is so awesome that this one thin device can help so many people, you know? It's amazing. Yeah. I know. 